Ten-year-old Sadie Bone has spent countless nights in the hospital. She has a brain disorder called Rett syndrome. She struggles with seizures, insomnia, and anxiety. Sadie's mother has been giving her a cannabidiol, or CBD tincture, recommended by her doctor for almost three years. CBD is derived from hemp plants. The tincture also contains trace amounts of THC. That's the compound from cannabis plants that gives pot its high. And just a few weeks ago, we celebrated her one-year seizure-free anniversary, And it was, it was a remarkable milestone for her and for us. It allowed her to feel less afraid to leave the house, to go to school. But Bone worries her daughter's health may now be at risk. In September, the state banned all hemp products containing any THC. It can no longer be sold legally in California stores or purchased online from other states. Adults over 21 can still buy it at medical cannabis dispensaries. These are very specific types and brands and doses, and you cannot vary, especially when you're talking about a pediatric population. Governor Gavin Newsom initiated the ban because he says loopholes in the law have made it too easy for kids to access intoxicating products. UC San Diego researcher Natasha Wade studies children who use CBD for health purposes, including 700 in San Diego County. So even if the parents thought that they were giving just a pure CBD product to their kids, and that's all that those kids had ever used, uh, 23% were still positive for THC. Wade says her findings highlight the need for regulation of CBD. She says more research needs to be done to confirm hemp and THC do what sellers claim. The data has not panned out that it does all of those things. And we also have not had the ability to do the research we need to to see what it can actually effectively treat. But for Bone and her family, CBD has been life-changing. She stockpiled tinctures when Newsom proposed the regulation. I mean, our life has has, has almost restarted and we can be, uh, you know, go on family adventures and not feel this kind of sense of panic. Um, and that's because of CBD. So the ban will last until March 2025. Heidi DeMarco, KPBS News.